Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to do a should you poll on the next banners, which should be dropping uh, two days after the time I'm recording this. Um, so we've got uh, a Lawn and Rain banner and we have the Celtius banner. So we're going to talk about um, all the characters a little bit about what they do, if they're worth pulling for. Um, but we'll start by just talking about any notable spheres and calls maybe that you want to be looking for, uh, right? So um, I would say let's start on the Lawn and Rain side. And I would say Shelk actually has a good call and a very good sphere. Um, I don't know that I would, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know that I would like chase either just for those, but they are very good. So her A sphere is one of the best ones in the game because it's got attack and brave damage on it. And I really like that. And I think it just requires crit damage. It's a very nice trigger. So she has a very nice A sphere. Um, her call, the big thing with her call that's good is you can instantly charge somebody's EX. So that's really good on certain characters, right? Um, Iris, or sorry, not Iris, but Neon, um, Neon Sphere and her calls, not really worth it. Um, her call can be interesting on like a fire damage dealer, cause it's going to make it so that fire damage does rainbow numbers. So it is kind of unique that you get like rainbow numbers on the call, but once again, not anything that I would chase. Right. And then Lawn and Rain, I think theirs was just like a max brave up or something. Uh, AOE damage, not nothing you want to go for there, right? So nothing really too much there. Other, I think Shelk has significant, uh, once again, a significant call and a good sphere. Um, if we're looking on the Celtius side, I'm not familiar with Celtius's stuff, so we'll just we'll talk about him as the main character because you're not going to pull here just for his call and sphere anyways. So we won't worry about him. <clears throat> um, guys is like a his sphere is like a max brave up when you take HP damage. It's actually a pretty bad sphere. I, I don't really recommend that. His call doesn't really do anything crazy. His call has like a little bit of healing on it. So I guess for that, it's fine. But nothing you'd want to cha chase there. Clouded Darkness' the sphere is actually pretty solid. Um, it's a pretty good magic attack sphere, which magic attack is a good stat to have. Um, and then her call has a little bit of delay and like instant break. So that, that could be solid too. But in terms of the side characters, in terms of that, I would say Shelk is the best one for like calls and spheres for sure. Um, oh, and then also, yeah, and Celtius, we, we, we don't really, we won't talk about his calls and spheres because if you're going to pull, it's going to be for Celtius, right? So let's talk about the actual characters themselves and what they're doing and if they're worth pulling on, right? Um, Shelk, and remember that all the only characters are going to matter a little bit more because everybody's getting Force 50, right? So a couple of things you have to consider here. You have to consider Force 50 if they're a character you're willing to invest in for Force 50. Um, if they're a crystal color you're working on, a lot of things to think about, right? Um, Shelk, I would still say probably isn't a good pickup, even though force 50 is definitely going to help her. She is a pretty much just a damage dealer and LD only her damage doesn't really get any bumps here. Like she'll get like a little bit from force 50. The, the benefit of force 50 is she's going to help you charge the gauge faster, or, like keep that retain. Right. Um, but Shelk is kind of like a death by paper cuts character where she doesn't hit very hard, but she attacks a lot and gets a lot of free turns. Right. Um, which during force time, it kind of like with Layla and some of these other characters I talked about, it just kind of killed them because you want, you don't want to waste your force turns on weak damaging attacks, right? Um, now someone like Shelk, you can maybe get away with a little bit more now because you're going to get that retain, but I still don't think she's a character worth going for. I think if you're going to chase an L, the only character, even though you got force 50, you still want like a little bit more utility there, right? Um, Neon would be a character that's a BTFR character in the LD slot. Um, I would say if you don't already have her BTFR or part of it, there I don't know that I would go for like an LD only Neon either. She's a um, interesting character where she has true fire enchant and then she gives rainbow numbers to fire damage, which is pretty cool. But once again, ah, I think what they're doing is they're kind of baiting us, right? Because if I look at all of these side characters, like I think Cloud of Darkness is probably the best one out of the side characters, but like the side characters really aren't that good. Um, and I think they're baiting us because they want you to like, Hey, here's force 50 first characters. You get, if you want to do a full force 50 team, you're going to have to maybe pick one of these characters, right? So I would say the side characters are all fairly skippable here. And then Lon and rain, especially like I've talked about them. I really don't like them. Um, they're going to do really well in a three target fight, but they're just average. I would say in a two target fight and in a one target fight, they're useless. So, and they're just damaged. They got element and they got a bunch of elements too which I think is, 
I think when you have multiple elements, it's usually more of a detriment than a benefactor, right? Like it's just more chances for you to get locked out of a fight. Whereas if you're just carrying one element, like you're going to get your weakness damage, right? You don't need to have multiple elements to get that. So um, yeah, there's just a lot I don't like about the character. So this to me is like a super, super easy skip, like uber mega skip, <laughs> okay? Uh, then we're going to go to the next one here. Now we got Celtius, Guy, and Cloud of Darkness. Um, Guy is kind of a like pseudo healer, pseudo tankish character, right? Um, he's never been fantastic in the game. Um, it, you would have to be like super desperate for a tank to get him. I think it, unless you're like a super fresh, like brand new player, like most players have really good established tanks, right? So there's really not a reason to get guy and he's missing things like counter. He's not like a full tank. He's more of like a damage reduction type of, uh, character. Um, but he doesn't like fully nullify damage or anything like that. Like these better tanks do. So guy just, he just doesn't have a super impressive kit. He's got earth damage, which earth damage isn't super common, but it's doesn't really you know it's not really super important that you have earth damage right um then we have cloud of darkness now cloud of darkness is a nice character um uh, but once again it, it's the type of character where she's a btfr um if you had her stuff done you probably already got her if you are like a clean account i don't know chasing her ld only i guess she can be okay because she's got force 50 right and once again i i would say out of this batch of four side characters uh she's probably the best one because she has utility um she's got uh breaking she's got delay she steals turns if you have her bt she actually does off turn which is really really nice um but none of these ld only characters or i should say ld slot characters are really worth chasing so then it comes down to you know do you want to get Celtius or not now there's a couple of things to think of with Celtius. i talked about him like very recently because i did like my monthly poll planning video but he is a very nice like battery healing type support character and he's got revive so he's got like a lot of really nice things to his kit He's going to be full BTFR and Force Enhancement 50. Now, what I'm going to say is this. He's definitely not a must pull, like especially if you're like an established player. Um, you've already got like good established veterans will already have plenty of supports, right? I would say the really big draw to Celtius is that if you want to get a jump start and you want Force Enhanced 50 characters for this event, Celtius is the one you want to get for sure out of everything here. Um, he's the one that is most worthy of giving your force enhancement 50 to, um, to do that. So like my plan, for example, I don't know if I'm going to chase BT to be honest, but I'm going to build him up to FR and I may force enhance 50 him just so I can try out that retain a little bit. But remember, you don't have to have a full force enhance 50 team. And I really don't recommend out of what's on this first batch. I really don't recommend players force enhance 50, a full team out of this batch. Um, you know, I already have neon, like fully built green FR, like BT. So I, I, I suppose I probably will force enhance 50 her possibly we'll see. But my guess is, is like the first quest, like, isn't going to require that type of thing. I would think of force enhance 50. Like I would just kind of build that out over time, but don't feel like you have to do like force enhance 53 characters on these banners. Right. But I do think that Celtius having that is a nice bump for him. I think he is definitely worth pulling on. Um, and once again, if you, if you need that type of character, like you're in need of a support healing type character, I think Celtius is a good pickup. Once again, nothing here is a must get. And I would say that this is a, for sure, like absolute skip over on this side. Um, unless you're a big fan of Lon and Rain, that's fine. And my guess is between like Lon, like we just had Strago, we we're getting Lon and Rain and then Renault is coming and they're all like kind of really good in AOE fights. My hope would be at least once or twice this month to give us a three target fight to really show these characters off. I mean, I feel like this fight right here should be a three target fight, but they've done a really bad job of promoting some of these characters. So um, anyways, you guys can let me know if you're going to pull or not. Once again, I'm going to pull the FR. I think he's definitely a good pickup, especially if you want your first FE50 character, but it's also skippable. If you don't feel like you need that, I'm going to guess that full force enhanced 30 is going to be fine for these first quests. So let me know what you guys are going to do. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.